Good morning and happy Wednesday. Happy hump day. <laughs> the first thing I need to do is get lunch ready for the boys. Uh, they need to eat a little bit early and then I want to uh, cook dinner for them for tonight. Meal prep it because Ken and I are having date night. I'm going to go ahead and cut up this small onion, poblano pepper, and one jalapeno. <music> I'm going to reserve half of the onion and half of the jalapeno and I'm going to get half of the onion, half jalapeno and the poblano pepper and a couple tablespoons of oil in a frying pan and start it to cooking. I'm going to cut up these two tomatoes into some dice. Add it right into the onion and pepper mixture. I'm going to work on getting this finished. We added a the juice of one lime. I'm going to chop up some one clove garlic finely minced and I'm going to chop up a little bit of fresh cilantro just a rough chop I'm going to season with some salt. If you want, you could add a teaspoon or so of vinegar, optional. Give this a big stir, and we got some pico de gallo. Looks great. Today I'm going to use some ground pork. Thought it might be interesting to use this instead of ground beef. Kind of like ground carnitas. Okay, I'm just going to add some taco mix. You know, uh, maybe some New Mexico chili powder, cumin, that type of thing. I usually... Uh, do like a three to one ratio where I might add a tablespoon of the dried chili and then um, a teaspoon of cumin. That's kind of the ratio I follow. I'm adding a teaspoon of chicken, uh, better than chicken based bouillon. <laughs> you could you could put in a a Nor's chicken uh, bouillon cube as well. And I'm going to add probably like a half a cup of water and then just simmer this for 15 minutes. Okay, I went ahead and I heated up the tortillas over an open flame. We cooked the uh, pork until most of the water had evaporated. So we'll just make them some little tacos for lunch. Little avocado. So that's what we're having for lunch, ground pork tacos with a pico de gallo, fresh avocado, and sour cream, a little bit of cheese. 
The boys are off to school. They thoroughly enjoyed their lunch. Ken actually had a taco and he said he liked the ground pork as a switch it up, you know, for tacos. But um, I always try to make sure the boys eat or have leftovers to take or can make a sandwich because it's about $15 a kid for lunch at college. It is crazy. The food plans in college, I don't know how anybody does it because it's just too expensive. So anyway, they ate their lunch, they're off to school, and we got some packages at the front door. Um, Ken installed that ring thing. Have you guys seen that? Let me show you what that is. This is the actual doorbell, and it has a black face or a, a chrome color face. We put the chrome one on because the house is white. This part's black and it has a camera. And the person can either come up and push the doorbell and it'll be a notification. But we have it set up where it detects motion. So even before they get to the doorbell, it'll notify us that someone's at the front door. And it stores it on your phone. You can buy up an actual plan that you can keep like a year's worth of uh, video. Uh, I think it's $10 a month to have the full package. And it's kind of like an intercom too, because you can uh, push the button and talk to the person. Yep. If they say, hey, I'm here to see whatever, you know, it's like, dude, if you don't leave, I'm calling the police. <laughs> mm -hmm. Or if you're on vacation, you know, in another yeah. state or something, it'll ring your phone and you can talk to them before they even get up to the porch. Right, right. So it's pretty cool. And there's no... Um, you don't have to have electrical assembly, to it. Assembly, no. It, the, there's four screws in it. It has a battery that's lasted a long time. I mean, I put it up on Christmas Day and check the battery level, see if it's... Yeah, it's fine. It doesn't use a lot. Mm -mm. Pretty cool. And where'd you buy that? Because someone might ask. Amazon. Amazon, okay. And they let you make payments on it. Okay. You get a notification on your phone and it records the audio and video whenever it senses motion. So, and then it um, sends you a little ring to your phone so you know you got a package. Pretty cool, huh? So Ken is going to go out to the front porch and it should send me a notification. And you click on it and it opens the real-time camera. So there he is waving. What a crazy guy. And then you can talk. Come on in. And that's what it looks like. It's worked like a charm. Well, let's see what these packages are. I, th I think this is a Macy's package. Doesn't have the star on it, but I think it is. Nope. I was wrong. This is from Ann Taylor. <clears throat> Since we're going to be in Alaska, I kind of wanted to have like a sweater coat. And I thought this was really super cute. It was on the... Ann Taylor has two websites. She has the AnnTaylor.com and she has the Ann Taylor Factory. If you want a bargain, look at Ann Taylor Factory. <clears throat> Although she does have a 70% off going on right now on her regular one on some items. But um, I seem to find the best deals on the factory uh, webpage. But this is so, so pretty. I could wear like a gray uh, shirt with jeans, black ankle boots, and be warm. Because, you know, I think it's going to be a little bit more chilly, even though it's in June, right? <clears throat> Oh yeah. And then I bought this little tea. The material is gorgeous. I had seen this actually in her store before and I almost bought it, but um, I didn't because it was full price. And it's just beautiful material. It has the three quarter sleeves. It's in the winter white, gorgeous. And then, oh my gosh, you guys. This I fell in love with. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, 
The sheer on this has like, can you see that? And there's a built-in liner. But what is gorgeous is the, the sleeves. <gasps> Look at that. So cute. And then it has the little ruffle here at the bottom but look gorge 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 and i thought this would look so cute again just you know it's kind of dressy but dress it down a little bit wear it with a nice pair of jeans a black belt black ankle booties or you could wear it with a pair of like black trousers a skirt dress it up i thought it was just so versatile so so versatile really super cute i love this love this and i want to say what was the original price i don't know i forgot but it was uh, this one was really marked down um i paid twenty dollars for this twenty dollars and 39 cents and I know that it was really an expensive um, shirt. This one here, I paid $12.74. And this sweater coat that is just gorgeous was $37.39. So <clears throat> if you like Ann Taylor, you know, you can check out her AnnTaylor.com site because they're having the big sale. But the factory site, that has a lot of great deals. <clears throat> All right, so there's my Ann Taylor haul. So excited. This is all for my um, cruise. There's that shirt. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh my gosh. So beautiful. And you could easily dress it up, dress it down. I think it's just a really fun, fun shirt. And it was originally $59.99, 60 bucks. And uh, with the get, with the discount, the fifteen percent discount, and the already reduced price, it's like twenty bucks. I think that's a great addition to like a basic wardrobe. I got a box from Macy's. I think this is the baby stuff that I was waiting for. Well, you guys know I have that baby shower coming up, and I got a couple of cute little outfits from Macy's. These are all Carter's. This one is a three-piece outfit. It has the little onesie with the little jogging suit and it has like a little bear on it in the has little bears on the onesies. So, so cute. And look at this. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. Is this not adorable? There's the little ears. <laughs> oh, I tell you. And then um, Katie is due March 22nd. So I bought some three month old things because I figured if that would be getting into the end of June, the temperature is going to warm up. So I, I bought these little rompers. And this one was so adorable. The pocket is upside down and it looks like all the little bugs are falling out of the pocket. <laughs> and I really like that it still, you know, snaps in the crotch, makes it really easy to change diapers. And then I found this MVP romper. We live in Cooperstown, so we got to have baseball, right? And then I saw this really cute one. It's long sleeve, it has the dinosaur, and it says Roar. Totally adorable. And then uh, Macy's had an incentive, I think for $7, you could add on a Mickey. So I got a little stuffed animal to go with it. And all of this stuff was so affordably priced. Like these were like $7. Um, the hoodie was $12. And I think this outfit was 12. So I think that was really uh, priced well. They had a, a sale going on, so I took advantage of it. So that's my Macy's baby haul for 
Shane Michael. I'm gonna start getting these uh, baby gifts wrapped and I might need to get some more boxes but I can get started with what I have. I'm going to work on getting the rest of these packages wrapped because it'll take me forever. <laughs> I don't want to put you guys to sleep. <laughs> I got all the packages wrapped. I think I might have one more outfit coming, but I have a box for that. I'm the world's worst wrapper, you guys. I try so hard and then it just never works out, but <sighs> I'm done. Did we RSVP Yeah. for the baby so shower? The Queen's personal secretary. <laughs> I'm a humble servant. Well, I got another box. <laughs> and this is actually, my phone was acting up. And then um, yesterday, what time did you call, Kenny? Uh, 4.30. Like 4.30 in the afternoon. And this already came from Fort Worth, Texas. I can't believe how they do that. But I have the insurance for the phone. Um, so... I just have to, uh, I guess, send my old phone back. But I just, it's been acting really weird. I don't, I don't know. I've never had any problems with my phone before. So, this is just a replacement one. And Ken is like the techno man, you know, like new stuff comes out and he wants to upgrade it. I'm just content, like, having the same thing. <laughs> because I don't want to learn anything new. So it's just like my my previous phone. So I'm gonna have to put all my information over there. But yeah, I've never had problems with Apple phones, and we've had the iPhone since they came out. But my phone just I don't know, maybe I got a lemon. I don't know. But anyway, I'm just gonna let Ken do this. He's good technical stuff. He's like my little geek squad. <laughs> So there's my phone. I can't believe that. I mean, how do they do that? How do they ship it? I mean, it was 4.30 and, you know, it arrived like around 12.30 our time here. It's crazy. They do such a good job. Very good customer service. I went ahead and prepped the boys' dinner. I just sauteed some chicken cutlets and made a chicken cream sauce with a little hint of lemon and rosemary garlic and sauteed the green beans in some garlic and red pepper flake salt and pepper butter a little bit of olive oil and made some parmesan potato wedges in the oven so that's what they're having for dinner tonight i'll include the cook with me in my weekly meal plan this next week so you guys can see how to do that dinner's been all made for the boys I'm gonna go freshen up and Ken wants to stop by the hardware store because he wants to get replacement parts for his lamp and repair them they ordered the parts and they're in and then we're on to date night oh, I just sat down for a minute before we go to date night and I almost hit my head on this thing Ken put a light a light up here um a reading lamp 
How does it work? It has a little switch on the cord back here. Okay. It has two different modes. So one is like a soft. Oh, yeah. Light, that's, mm -hmm. And then one is a more of a. Well, that's soft too, but it's wider. Yeah, I'll have to see which one I like more for reading. Depends on the color of the pages. Oh. Sometimes they have white pages, and sometimes they have the like cream color. Oh, so I get to choose. Oh, I'm tired and I still have two things on my to-do list. I still need to do the top of the range and do the stainless steel. I didn't get to it, but I might be rejuvenated. I don't know. I might just put it off till tomorrow. I don't like putting stuff off till the next day if I can, if I can manage it. <laughs> but today's just been a tuckered out day. I don't know why. Well, date night is starting out with a rainstorm and it's supposed to rain all night long and the temperature's coming up. It's like almost 50 degrees. Go figure. Ken's going to pick up some parts he needs to repair his light. It's kind of funny. His light went out a couple days after mine did. But anyway, he had to order the part because they didn't, they didn't have another one and it's in, so he's just stopping in here to pick up the part so he can fix his lamp on his bedside table. Did they have your part? They did. Awesome. So now you can fix my lamp. I can't fix anything. <laughs> That's what I have you for. <laughs> All right, let's go. Here's to date night. Cheers. He has Nirvana, so predictable. And I am trying this uh, glass of this wine that they paired with dinner. Tonight is Montenegro. And here is the menu. Ken's going to get the special tonight. I'm going to get salmon and veggies. Because I'm trying to stay away from some of these carbs. Ken ordered the chop chop salad. And I'm not all sure what's on there, but I can see tomatoes and carrots and blue cheese and... Pineapples. Pineapple. Oh, that's interesting. Cauliflower. Anyway, looks delicious. For myself, I just went ahead and got a house salad with blue cheese dressing. So this is the first course of Ken's dinner. Cornbread and it's ground beef, phyllo, dough, spinach, goat cheese, and sour cream. I want to say this is called Ispod. I hope I'm not pronouncing it incorrectly. It's a milk braised lamb with potatoes and it has a puree of carrots, fennel, and it's seasoned with paprika and rosemary. That's Ken's dinner. And then I'm having salmon with double veg. So this is interesting. I don't know if it's like a marshmallow. It kind of looks like a marshmallow. Oh, it's a meringue. It's a meringue with some fresh fruit. But we're going to take dessert home to the boys because, as you all know, Ken and I do not need these carbs. <laughs> Ken said he would help me uh, with the kitchen. He's doing the stainless steel, and I need to clean the cooktop. I have all of the that stuff washed, so I need to get the cooktop done. fabulous husband and the range got cleaned so I got everything on my to-do list done today thank goodness uh, two of the boys are almost home so there's their dinner and everyone else is eating so life is good well teamwork makes dream work 
I was so thankful that Ken came into the kitchen and just kind of started cleaning the stainless steel because it gave me the motivation to finish up my chores today because I wasn't feeling it today. But I'm really glad we pushed through and we got everything done. Now we're going to go upstairs. We're going to watch a movie and just hang out together. And until the next video, I'll talk to you guys later. Mm -hmm.